how to set up and connect the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 or the Watch 7 with the Samsung Galaxy S25 or the S25 Plus or the S25 Ultra. Now make sure you turn on your watch. If it's not already turned on, press and hold on the side button here to switch it on. Here, press and hold on the button. And it is now switch on. Now on your Galaxy phone, once it's turned on, there should be a pop-up message um, offering you to connect to your Galaxy Watch. If not, you can go into the app screen by swiping up. And in here, you want to look for wearable. So there should be an app in here. You can use the search button. So you can look in Samsung folder. If it's not in here, it should be somewhere around here. Otherwise, we can type in wearable. So here it is, wearable, and tap on that. And then it's a Galaxy Watch, Galaxy Buds, so what you want to connect. And then just go down and tap on more, and then tap on start. Then tap on allow. Now it is scanning for available device, and here you can see it detects my Galaxy Watch. So tap on Galaxy Watch 6 or 7. And then confirm. So here, when both number match, tap on the confirm on both device. And yeah, say so check your phone to complete setup. And now the phone is going ahead to download the software. So say so your phone will use Galaxy Watch 6 Manager to connect to your watch. Now here, it will ask you to sign into your Samsung account. So at this point, you can sign in now or you can skip and you can sign in later on. So tap on skip. And then here it says agree to all or agree to some. And then we go down and tap on continued. After that, scroll down and then tap on Agreed. And now uh, so getting ready to connect. So wait for that to complete. Next, so getting Google account. Do you want to sign to Google account or not? So I'm going to tap on Skip for now. If you want, you can sign to your Google account. And then because I haven't signed to my Google, Google account on my phone, so that's why uh, there is no account to add. So I tap on skip for now. And then here we scroll down and tap on agree. Here is a automatic watch backup. Tap on next. So it's checking for a smart switch on your watch. Next, we're going to tap on the allow button. Then tap on next. So set your wearing preferences. So set on prefer width to the left or right hand side. Button position, so you can choose the button position right on the screen or left on the screen. And then tap on next. Here you can create custom workout routines. So if you want, you can tap on create workout routine or you can tap on next. To use your workout routine, you need to sign in. So tap on the sign button and then sign in with your Google account or Samsung account. Now I'm just going to tap on next for now. And here's to understand your sleep for better rest. So tap on next. Monitor your health, tap on next. Double pinch to control your watch. And tap on next. Here, get help in emergency. And then tap on next. And now it says set up a mobile plan. So if you do not have a mobile plan, you can skip. Otherwise, you can tap on next to set up a mobile plan for your device. Now I said couldn't set up mobile plan because I do not have one, so I'll go skip. And here it says finishing up. This might take a few minutes. So we wait for that to finish. And here say you're all set. And on the watch, you can see it say starting. And on my app, it shows how much battery I have left. 
and here is a monitor your heart health quickly and easily Insta install Samsung health monitor on your phone now so you can choose download the app or not now and that's it so Galaxy watch has now been installed on the device so if you go into wearable so I'll see if I can find it somewhere here So here it is, wearable. And when you tap on that, you'll be able to see your wearable device, Galaxy Watch 6. Uh, you can change the watch face uh, directly from the app or on your watch. Here on the watch, tap on the start button. And that's it. So here I can change the clock face, allow and install. To download anything, you need to sign to your Samsung account or Google account. So here, Pro Analog. And that's it, your watch is now ready for use. To make the most of your uh, device, both on Samsung S25 and your watch, uh, I highly recommend you sign to Samsung account and Google account. Once you sign in, then there will be a lot more features for you to uh, play with. So I'm trying to update here, but there's a problem because most likely because I haven't signed into Samsung account or Google account. But that's it. That's how you can set up your Galaxy Watch 7 or 6 and connect it with your S25. Thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel for my videos.